Hi and welcome back to a new video. In January I came across this Lumptron ST060 air cooler, which was listed at Casking for 300 euro. I also saw other medias reporting about it, such as Hardware Lux, and thought okay, especially for the price of 300 euro, that was probably the most expensive air cooler at that time, so I thought let's order this product and see what it brings. At that time I was aware of the brand Lumptron, I saw it for multiple years, especially like 10 years ago, they had a lot of fan controllers for like 5.25 inch base and stuff, so I was aware of the brand Lumptron but never saw an air cooler like that. Lumptron also has been selling hardware monitor displays for a couple of years now and the purpose of them is to either externally or internally in the system real time provide data of your system. That could be any kind of statistic or like CPU utilization, CPU temperature, any kind of thing like that. That's the same thing that we had with the ST060 air cooler which had a lot of problems not only regarding the display yeah, but the product had a lot of problems in itself. And there we also have one of those hardware monitors which you can connect over HDMI to your system as a second display and on here display information using the software ADA64. ADA64 is a software that allows to provide any kind of hardware information such as driver or sensor data, temperatures, clocks, anything regarding your system information. There are different versions of ADA64 available, Extreme, Engineer or Business for example. There is a 30 days trial period, but generally speaking this is not a freeware. I also for example have an ADA64 license for YouTube, I have an ADA64 Engineer license which I have to renew every year. And that is also what I use for example for testing the ST060 where I had a lot of issues like scaling issues with ADA64 and stuff like that. But that's not what this video is about because after publishing my video about this cooler I had an employee at Grizzly coming to me and then he said that he observed a few years ago somewhere on some forums that there was a topic regarding problems of Lumptron keys of ADA64. Because in those products there are ADA64 keys bundled with. For example this box was included in my ST060 which I didn't show in the original video because I didn't want to leak the key obviously. So here we have ADA64 Extreme 6.92 then I taped most of the keys, I'm not spreading this on the internet and it says the version is free version and does not support online upgrade. If you need the latest ADA64 software please go to ADA64 to buy. And we can also conveniently download uh, this specific version in the ADA64 archive. After the installation you can decide to either activate the product with a valid product key or go with the 30 days trial. And after entering the license even without pressing ok it already tells us license is valid. So everything seems great and it seems like we can use the product right? And on the packaging it told us that this does not support online upgrade. So what actually happens if we try that? So once you check for update, it surprisingly tells me, warning, this is not a legally purchased copy of ADA64. So after this I was getting skeptical and I decided to just contact my ADA64 sales window uh, where I also purchased my um, license. Then I took a picture of uh, the label and asked what they think about this, that it says a free version with this specific key and if they can give me any kind of information about this key and what they think about it. We understand your concerns regarding the free version license included with the cooler. Unfortunately we've discovered instances of Lumtron bundling invalid ADA64 licenses with their products. When we became aware of this we immediately contacted Lumtron and requested they cease this practice. Although they registered as a reseller two years ago and placed a single order for ADA64 Extreme, it's unclear if they ever bundled valid licenses with their devices. At that point it was pretty clear that something is wrong with those licenses and keys. Then I reached out to Lumtron Lumptron gave them the opportunity to say something about this. I asked them for a statement but they didn't reply on the first email so I sent a second one a week later and by the time this video is released that is probably like a month ago and as long as there is nothing written on the display now then there will be no update. And it's also quite interesting if you dig through the Lumptron website and go to like contact information and then you see that their contact email address is ikao probably, ico at 163.net and the Skype name with boringman1022 also implies that there must be a very serious and yeah interesting business behind this company. At that point I was like okay I have this one cooler, I have one key and it seems like this is not valid but just might be a one out of one case. 
At that point, I was like, okay, I need more Lumpturn product to validate the problem we probably have. Then I went to their website again, checked what kind of products they have in this nice product overview. Then I spotted that in the center, they claim that all the products except for the HX070, they all come with a full license of ADA64 business. This gets funny again once we compare it again with the statement that Final Wire provided to us because they said that Lumptron only ever bought a single license for ADA64 Extreme. Yet Lumptron claims that all of the product come with a full license of ADA64 business. Seems to be a bit fishy. So I decided to just buy more Lumptron products. This means that this video is going to be category financial mistake again. So thank you to everybody who is watching my videos, supporting them and also my partners that eventually support this uh, channel financially because this is probably going to be a lot of electronic garbage I'm never going to use. So we have the HM070 V2 hardware monitor. We have an HC070 hardware monitor, the same in the lift version. And I also bought a second of those amazing ST060 air coolers to just make sure, yeah, or just compare if it's the same product, if it might have the same key or not. That was my first ST060 cooler. You can see that's the black version. The key starts with Y1 Deer, whatever. And the second ST060 comes also with ADA64 Extreme, same version of uh, 6.92, but the key is different. It starts different. Um, yeah, because my first fear or like assumption was that maybe they even bundle the same key with everything, but that seemed not to be the case. So let's check the HM070 V2. And also in here, as you can see, it's again ADA64 Extreme, same version, but again, different key. The reason why I bought the HC070 is because this is an older version or like an older hardware monitor. And now interestingly, this one comes with ADA64 Business 6.85. And in here again, business version, but it's version 6.60. It's quite funny if you look at the three keys where three are extreme to our business and Lumptron claims on the website that they only have business bundled. And on the first statement from Final Wire, they told us that Lumptron only ever bought a single extreme license. So I thought, okay, I'm going to send those five keys again to Final Wire and see what they say. And that's a statement I received from Final Wire. Unfortunately, none of the product keys you shared are valid in our system. This strongly suggests they were generated illegally using a tool like a keygen. At this point, it was clear to me, this is not a coincidence with a single key. That is a problem. That is a systematic problem, something they're doing. And you have to keep in mind that technically, Lumptron is only selling an external or maybe internal HDMI connectable display, which is just connected as a second display to your system. But what you're buying or what you want to buy is a hardware monitor display. And the, yeah, I would say the main part of the product is technically delivered by the ADA64 software because otherwise it's just a second monitor without any kind of value. And yeah, that is a big problem to me because they're selling something they don't own. They're selling something they didn't pay for. Then I was wondering what the legal consequences might be for me as a buyer and also potentially for the dealer, for the seller of the product, which will depend on the country you are in. The law depends from country to country. So I reached out to an attorney who is very famous in Germany. He has a big YouTube channel, over a million subscribers, and he's doing a lot of like copyright things and all things about YouTubers and legal judgment about that. And I asked him what the legal consequences, at least here in Germany, for me as a buyer and also for the seller could be. Buyers can theoretically get in trouble for various offenses, such as the unauthorized use of software. That carries a prison term of up to three years or a monetary penalty, or the trafficking of data. You could face a prison sentence of up to three years for that, or money laundering. Here you could face prison sentences ranging from three months to five years, or up to two years in cases of negligence. However, intent is always required for criminal offenses. That is why criminal liability is typically excluded in practice, because, as you mentioned, as a buyer, you are unaware of the key's origin. However, it is also possible to impose sanctions on an individual for money laundering if they carelessly fail to recognize that the object in question has originated from an unlawful act. Here, when there are suspicious circumstances, one can sometimes quickly fall into the trap of criminal liability. At least by German law, you could be liable for money laundering, which is quite interesting. Um, that might be very specific for Germany, but if you buy something that comes from, um, from a criminal act, and 
yeah, sorry, forgive me about that. I'm not really into the law terminology stuff, but when there is something for coming from a criminal act, then you might be liable for money laundering if you buy it. And that's where, yeah, you could face some charges, at least in Germany, just by buying the product, even though you might not be aware if the product is legal or not. There was also a huge thing in Germany in the last like two or three years about those cheap Windows keys, cheap Windows licenses, because here in Germany, a lot of lawsuits about those topics where people were jar charged for buying cheap keys from eBay for like $2. So at least here in Germany, that is a big problem. Then there is the aspect of the seller, of the dealer bringing these into your specific country. My personal view at least is they might come across the keys, they might see them in the listing, they might even see it on the product if they take pictures of it. And even then, if you just follow what's written on the box, if it tells you this is the specific ADA64 version, you download it, you enter your key, it tells you that the key is valid. Only if you reach out, let's say, to Final Wire, you might find out that it's not a legal key. And I think that is quite difficult even for, that goes way beyond what I would personally expect from any kind of seller to do when it comes to a product. But what does Christian Solmaker think about this topic? The traders definitely have intent, so penalties for the subsequent offenses that may potentially occur are realistic and possible. On one hand, the unauthorized commercial exploitation of copyrighted works can lead to a maximum prison sentence of up to five years or fraudulent activities perpetrated against the customer. There's a range of six months to ten years on that, or data trafficking. For that, you can end up in prison for up to three years and, of course, also face money laundering, just like the customer. This means that at least in Germany, the dealer, the seller, might still be liable and might face legal consequences for bringing these into the country and selling them here. Then I also informed Case King about those products because they're also selling them. And they also said that this is not cool and that they're thinking about what to do. Maybe, I don't know, take legal action or whatever. That's nothing I have influence on, but at least I wanted to inform them. And yeah, my, my general personal opinion about this, that this is something that is just completely unacceptable because Lamtron is selling products for a purpose which is not legal. I mean, they're essentially just selling a cheap LCD screen that you mount somewhere, but the essential part of the product they did not have any influence on. They didn't put any effort on, any work, nothing. The whole entire development work is done by ADA64 and they just take illegal keys and sell them. That is something that is not acceptable, especially under the possible legal consequences that you might face, depending on your country. But as I said, here in Germany, we learned over the previous years by uh, using those um, cheap Windows licenses, well, not licenses, but cheap keys without license technically, that you might face legal consequences. There were hundreds of cases here where people were sued using those cheap Windows keys. And that's why, especially here in Germany, this could be a problem. And that's why I want you to be aware about this yeah, entire topic. And there's also the aspect, you know, if you use a software that takes maintenance, somebody has to sit there, develop the software, it's, it's taking a lot of time and work and this has to be paid. And it also comes down to respect, respecting the software and the people behind it and making sure they get paid for their work instead of using cheap keys. Yeah, all I can say is don't support Lamtron, don't buy their products because you might get scammed, you might face legal consequences. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye-bye.